formation, ready to deploy. We go. Yo, we gotta keep moving. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever type it may be. And in this video, we're gonna be creating the fastest killing M4A1 class setup in Modern Warfare. Now the M4A1 is a top tier assault rifle, arguably the best assault rifle in the entire game, and it can become even better with the proper class setup. Now, with all that being said, the like goal on this video is gonna be 350 likes. If you guys are enjoying the content and wanna see any more best class setups, best settings, tips and tricks, or any more gameplay breakdowns where I break down and analyze my gameplay, or potentially break down and analyze your gameplay and help you guys improve, make sure you guys absolutely smash like button the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications so you guys stay up to date with all my uploads. Let's get right into creating the fastest killing M4A1 class setup. So for the M4A1, we're going to be starting off with the muzzle. The muzzle is a very important attachment on this weapon. A lot of people are throwing this gun unsuppressed, but realistically, if you guys are trying to improve your KD ratio, and most importantly, go for and actually get your first snook, the muzzle is going to have to be equipped and we're going to be using the monolithic suppressor which is going to add sound suppression as well as damage range this is fantastic because you can run around in the enemy spawn without being heard nearly as often and on top of that you're going to have increased damage range and the m4 is an absolute monster at beat him to long range with this class that we're about to build so we're going to select the monolithic suppressor now we're going to be jumping over to the barrel now the only logical barrel of choice is going to be the stock m16 grenadier barrel this is going to add increased damage range increased bull velocity as well as increased recoil control if you guys want the m4a1 to be an absolute laser across the entire map literally zero recoil you're going to want to run the stock m16 grenadier barrel i absolutely love this weapon and honestly i can't see myself using any other barrel attachment on this gun so that's exactly why we're going to be going ahead and equipping this for our second attachment now for our third attachment we're going to be using something that's going to complement the stock m16 grenadier barrel giving the m4a1 literally zero recoil gonna iron out that recoil pattern and we're gonna jump over to the under barrel and selecting the commando foregrip now i absolutely love the commando foregrip this is a fantastic attachment because you guys can see here it's going to add recoil stabilization and aiming stability this is going to make the m4 have literally zero recoil across the entire map you do not have to adjust your shots in the slightest when using this attachment especially coupled with the stock m16 grenadier barrel it is fantastic i love it i think that's what a majority of players use on their m4 setups i see some people running the merc foregrip on this weapon some people running the ranger foregrip on this weapon but if you guys are running the max barrel the m16 grenadier you have to run the commando foregrip in my opinion now for the fourth attachment we're gonna be jumping over to the ammunition now you can swing both ways with this weapon. You can run the 50 round magazine or you can run the 60 round magazine. Now with the class setup I'm been recommending, the 60 round magazine just works. It's more forgiving, you can take out more players and if you guys run into four, five, six, seven, eight enemies, you can easily take all of them out and still have some ammo left to spare. So that's exactly why I like to run the 60 round mags with the M4. All the weapons that have low recoil, a decent fire rate, and decent damage, I feel like having a 60 round or maybe even a 100 round magazine dependent on your class setup is what you're actually going to be wanting to run because you can just take more enemies out. It just feels a lot more forgiving. The weapon just feels easier knowing you have a gun that has literally zero recoil that you could put 60 rounds downrange pinpoint accurate. It's amazing and that's exactly why we're going to be going ahead and running this on our m4a1 class now for the fifth and final attachment we're gonna be jumping over to the laser and we're actually gonna be selecting the tack laser this is gonna add aim down sight speed aiming stability as well as aim walking steadiness now the tack laser on the m4 is like having a stippled grip tape but on steroids this is phenomenal now if you guys do not want to run the tack laser for whatever reason and you want to run the stippled grip tape 
I recommend you guys actually going ahead and adjusting your ammunition and running the 50 round magazine just so you can aim down sights a little bit faster. This TAC laser, like I said, allows us to have increased aim down sight speed, increased aiming stability, as well as aim walking steadiness. It is absolutely amazing. And honestly, whenever I get killed when using this class setup, I'm watching every single kill cam. I have not seen the laser active when i've died so i'm going to continue going ahead and running the tack laser on my setups this is amazing and it works perfect for the m4a1 so we're going to go ahead and equip this on our class setup this in my opinion is the fastest killing m4a1 class in the entire game the tack laser just works because you're going to have weight with the grenadier barrel the milex suppressor the commando foregrip and the 60 round mag this is going to offset everything allowing us to be aggressive and use this weapon at close range medium range and long range and if you guys are going for your first tactical nuke or trying to increase your kd this is a setup that i guarantee you guys will be able to achieve whatever you're trying to accomplish in this game now for the remaining of the class i'm running the Brunetti pistol the triple effect eod ghost as well as tracker and then finally, I have on the proximity mine as well as the stem shot as my tactical. In my opinion, this is the best class up to use with the M4, and I think a lot of you guys will definitely enjoy it. So, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see any more best class setups, best settings, tips and tricks, or like I said, any more gameplay breakdowns and walkthroughs, make sure you guys absolutely smash up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. On my death silence. Figure out where these guys are coming from, man. We're gonna push up. Teammate, get him. That sounds again. Enemy personal radar in the air. Enemy at the pool hall. We're losing control. Man, doing a lot of running. Enemy halfway there. Stay Holy down. cow. Beats all. Friendly UAV overhead. We're in control. Damn, we're doing a lot of running in this lobby. That's the annoying thing about sometimes on Ore, we got a flank too. Friendly UAV overhead. There we go. I need my dead silence again, man. We got the advanced joint. Growl. Kill confirmed. Get pushed up. Friendly UAV overhead. Yes, sir. Good stuff.
Let's go. I don't want to call in my... Call the support helo in right now, soften them up. Hunter 2 1 on station, weapons hot. Friendly precision airstrike inbound. Target down! Visual on target. Kill confirmed. Reloading! Oh boy. You gotta love running the spawn with no ammo <laughs> and up having no ammo. Like, that sucks, but hey, that was a good little hit. Can't get mad at that at all. That was a nice little hit. Picked up some MP5, classed it up with some horrible ass attachments on it. What the hell was he running on that? My teammate, gotta hook that shit up. Lost C. Securing Alpha. Stay back up at Bravo. Put the VTOL on B. Strike a 3 2 on station. Go for that. Enemy holds all objectives. Securing Bravo. Reloading. Enemy at the forklift. Rotate. We've lost Charlie. Still got a Betty there. Perfect. Enemy at the back alley. Yeah, they got a. We go. Oh shoot. Advanced. All right, let me get my that up. Took A. Man, I hate when this happens. Like the spawn, you do a hit and the spawns just flip instantly. Man. Wasted advanced UAV time. Hate it. I'm not even gonna. I don't even want to even challenge that way. Yeah, we wasted it. Damn, that sucks. Hopefully, a teammate could get big with that. We got a replacement. Yeah, it's hit, man. We're triple capping now. Losing 
15. There. What? Yeah, nerf the marksman rifles immediately. What? Yeah, dude, the marksmen are broke. Teammate puts up an advance as soon as. I wow. Calling me out. Oh man. HQ contested. Reloading. I wish I had my UAV dead silence online. right now. I wish I had my dead silence right now. It makes it a lot easier. Alright, we got it. There, rotate. We're halfway there. Keep fighting. HQ disabled. This dude, ready to what move the hell? Out. Where is he going? Stand by for new coordinates. Come on, bro. Motherfucker is camping a corner like. Man, that sounds. Changing max. Damn it. We need to shut this down. We need to shut this headquarters down. The two kids are streaking up, man. HQ contested. They got the full headquarters HQ too. Down. Stand by. Look at this. Here we go. Support helo ready to launch. Support helo. That right there. You throw up my advance. Just 
Guys underneath. Is he gonna push out? Yes, he is. He about to push out. HQ online, secure it. We're at the HQ, stand by. Go. Be advised. Advanced UAV is out of fuel. Returning to the oh, we gotta move out. I really wish I there we go. Perfect timing. Come on, brother. Ooh. Ah! Ah! We we're on a good streak right there. No cap. We were on a very good streak. 23. That's not bad. If you made it this far into the video, odds are you enjoy the content or you are a very loyal subscriber and I cannot thank you guys enough for your everlasting support. If you guys are unaware, every single night at 11.45 p.m. Central Time and also every single morning at 11.15 a.m. Central Time, I am live streaming over on Twitch. On Twitch, I'm playing Modern Warfare with viewers, subscribers, anybody who wants to go ahead, interact with me, or run a couple games of Modern Warfare. You can go ahead and find my Twitch channel by searching in twitch.tv slash earsxbl in the Google search bar, or going on Twitch and typing in earsxbl. My channel's gonna be the first thing that pops up. Make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a follow. We are on the road to 8,000 followers, as well as if you guys have Twitch Prime and wanna hook your boy up, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if you guys do actually subscribe to the channel with Twitch Prime, or actually use a tier one sub make sure you guys let me know over on twitter my link is gonna be down in the description below tweet me a picture and i'll make sure to follow you guys back and give you guys a personalized thank you appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on the videos you guys are absolutely amazing and i hope to see as many of you guys over on the twitch streams as possible with all being said i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video Deuce.